Hi, it's Miss Leslie from Youth Guidance Mentoring Academy, and today we are continuing story time with I didn't know that some bugs glow in the dark and other amazing facts about insects with no author. Maybe we'll find it inside. I didn't know that. Ooh, can we identify some of these bugs? I see maybe a wasp. Maybe a big old butterfly right there. Mm. I didn't know that some bugs glow in the dark. And other amazing facts about insects. And I'm trying to find the author of here. Flower Pot Press. A lot of illustrators on here. I didn't know that. Now we have a big table of contents, so we know that it's a little science related and we've organized our thoughts and like what we're gonna learn about. So introduction, did you know that you would need to use dynamite to blow up a termite's home? No, I did not know that. That stick bugs can grow as long as a cat? That some wasps, wasps lay eggs in pots? I think I knew that. Discover for yourself amazing facts about the insect world from the tiniest fairy fly and the high jumping flea to the insect that eats birds. So we're going to watch out for this symbol, a little girl with her hands up. Oh, watch for this symbol, which means there's a fun project for you to try. Hmm. And then there's also two people, one smiling, one's frowning. True or false? Watch this for some, watch for this symbol and try to answer the question before reading for the answer. So we'll be doing that too. Don't forget to check the borders for extra amazing facts. So we're gonna look around our borders. I didn't know that insects have six legs. Beetles, ants, and all other insects have three pairs of legs. Counting the legs is a sure way to identifying an insect. Wood lice, spiders, mites, and centipedes aren't insects. They have far too many legs. So that's a Goliath beetle right there. I don't think I've ever seen one in real life. An insect has three different parts. Its body, the head, the thorax, and the abdomen. A hard outer skeleton makes the insect waterproof and protects its soft insides. So here's an ant. We've got the head, the eye, the brain, a thorax, which is like his um, upper chest, a stomach, his heart is inside the thorax. We got a mouth, a leg, and an abdomen. And that's a wood louse. I don't think we've seen those before. The first insects lived three, 370 million years ago, long before the dinosaurs. Hmm. People who study insects are called entomologists. They learn about insects, how and where they live, and how best to protect them. So this lady right here is an entomologist. That'd be a cool job. Bad news, there are about 280,000 kinds of wasps, bees, and ants. That's a lot. There are well over a million kinds of insects in the world. That's more than all the other kinds of animals put together. Entomologists Entomologists discover 8,000 new insects every year. Where are they hiding? How do we not know? So this is a Goliath bird eating spider. And this is a centipede. Next. I didn't know that beetles can fly. Ladybugs and other beetles can all fly when they need to. They open up their wing cases on their backs, unfold their soft wings, and take off. I think we've all seen a ladybug flying before, or at least landing on a little, on something. A butterfly's wings are covered with rows of scales. Those are a butterfly's wings. Arranged like tiles on a roof, each scale like a tiny speck of dust. Hmm. Flying insects survive tropical storms because the raindrops make a breeze as they fall which blows tiny insects aside. They end up flying between the drops. Oh, that's cool. Let's look at that dragonfly. Some flies' wings can be 1,000 times a second. That's why flies buzz. So they're going so fast that their wings are vibrating and making a sound. Dragonflies are sprinters. In short bursts, they zoom along at more than 30 miles per hour. That's a 
a car can go that fast. Cars go that fast. Look at this beetle. That's a big boy. Wasps. A wasp's second pair of wings is hard to see. Okay. Can you find five true flies? Ooh, so now we're supposed to look at all the pictures. I got one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> true or false, flies have only one pair of wings. Well, the wasps just said they have two, but they're hard to see. The answer is true. Flies, oh, flies. Flies that have one pair of wings, such as a house fly, are called true flies. Dragonflies and may mayflies have two pairs of wings, so they are not true flies at all. Beetles have one pair of wings, but their wing cases count as a second pair, so beetles are not true flies either. The more you know. Flip. I didn't know that caterpillars are baby butterflies. Yes, we knew that. Like many insects, butterflies change completely as they grow from an egg to a caterpillar, to a pupa, to a butterfly. This way of growing is called metamorphosis. The author Franz Kafka wrote a book called Metamorphosis. It's about a man who changed into a giant insect. Good book. Not age appropriate. So now we have eggs. We got the larva, the caterpillar, pupa, butterfly. That's a pupa. Can you find nine caterpillars? Hmm. One, two, three, four, five. They're hiding from us. Some caterpillars change into moths, not butterflies. A female butterfly lays up to 500 eggs in her lifetime. Ooh, she's a busy lady. Not all insects change as they grow. Baby shield bugs look like their parents when they hatch. They just get bigger and bigger and eventually grow their wings. Hmm. Mayflies spend most of their lives as wingless larvae. Once they change into adult mayflies, they only live for a day. I wish that was really true about house flies. I didn't know that some bugs can walk on water. Pond skaters are so light that they can skim across ponds without falling into the water. Hairy tufts on their tiny feet help them to stay afloat. Look at that. So he's got hairy little toes. This is a dragon nymph. Dragonflies begin life in water and uh, as, as water creatures called nymphs. They will attack small fish and tadpoles that are bigger than themselves. <laughs> the hungry boy. Insects don't like sea salt. Fun fact. A water boatman lies on his back and rows through the water. <laughs> There's a little picture of a water boatman character. Can you find the water snail? Mm. Ooh, water snail right there. True or false? Water beetles in lakes and ponds can breathe underwater. False. Water beetles can't breathe underwater. They swim to the surface to collect air bubbles. These supply the beetles with air when they dive underwater. Interesting. The ancient Greeks, Greeks and Romans believed that beautiful nature goddesses lived in rivers and streams. They were called water nymphs. So that's where we get the name for the dragonflies. And that's a big old water beetle. <laughs> I didn't know that termite mounds have air conditioning. Termites build themselves tall mud towers where millions of insects live. Every tower has a chimney that draws up warm air and keeps the nest cool. So here's a chimney right there. The food store is right down here and the queen's chamber is right in here. So that's their food and that's the queen's chamber and that's where the larva is kept. Tropical weaver ants build their homes out of leaves. Some of the ants hold the sticks together while others stick them with a sticky glue. The glue comes from larva 
and the ants carry in their jaws. Ew. True or false, some insects live in tents in the trees. True, apparently. Some caterpillars spin a huge silk canopy around their branch and stay safe and sound inside. Hmm. Insects that live together are called social insects. Ants, termites, bees, and wasps are all social insects that live in large groups called colonies. This is the best way for them to survive. Termites make a natural cement by mixing sand with their droppings. Gross. Only dynamite can dis demolish the hardest termite mounds. That's a lot of hard poop. I didn't know that some wasps build pots. The female potter wasps makes tiny mud pots that lies that lays an egg in each one. Before sealing a pot, she pokes a large grub inside, a tasty meal for her young when it hatches. So that's a potter wasp. In ancient Egypt, the dung beetle was the symbol for the sun god who ruled the sun across the sky each day. Dung beetle brooch from an ancient Egypt. So that's an example of jewelry that ancient Egyptians would wear. Egyptians would wear. Most insects don't make nests. They just lay their eggs near some food. Hmm. True or false? Insects make bad parents. They never look after their young. False. The female fungus beetle cleans and protects her eggs until they hatch. Then she keeps the larva to feed for about two weeks. Hmm. So that's a fungus beetle. Gross. Dung beetles lay their eggs inside balls of dung, poop, their larva's favorite food. The beetles make the balls by rolling bits of dung around the ground. It's rolling on poop. Okay. You can make a giant potter's wasp pot. Roll clumps of clay into thin ropes and then coil them. Oh, this is an activity. So they're telling us we can make a coil pot out of clay. That would be the same as what a potter wasp would make. Cuckoo bees lay their eggs in other bees' nests. Oh, sneaky. Sneaky, sneaky. I didn't know that ants are great farmers. Just as farmers keep cows, so some kinds of ants keep aphids. The ants protect the aphids from their enemies, and in return, the ants make honeydew that the aphids secrete. Oh, the ants take honeydew, okay. Honeypot ants store nectar in their bodies for others to feed on. So these ants are just, it's a symbiotic relationship, right? Like they're both using each other. The ants are protecting the aphids and they're, the ants are drinking the liquid from the aphids. Cockroaches eat anything. Bread, meat, fruit, cardboard. Yeah. Uh, true or false? A honeybee tastes its food with its feet. True. A honeybee tastes with its feet as well as its mouth. As a sample, it can sample its food as soon as it lands on it. So can houseflies. Butterflies suck up the nectar from their flowers with a long tongue called a proboscis. When they're not feeding, they can keep it curled up out of the way. So that's an example of a butterfly's proboscis. Just a long curly little nose. But they use it as a tongue. I didn't know that some insects eat lizards. When a prey, I like those. Ooh. Some insects eat lizards. When a praying mantis snaps its spiny legs, its helpless prey is trapped inside. Mantises are fierce hunters. Most of them eat other insects, but some catch lizards and frogs. Whew, that guy's gonna get it. So that's a big praying mantis. A female mantis is so dangerous, she'll even eat her mate. Watch out, boys. Some tropical moths feed on the salty tears of horses and deer. The moths flutter around the animal's eyes to make them cry. Oh, that's sad. Kissing bugs bite people's faces and suck their blood. Ugh. 
Not all mosquitoes suck blood, only the females do. They need blood to make their eggs. Male mosquitoes feed on nectar. Mm. When the assassin bug catches a tasty meal, it injects it with poison. This turns the prey's blood to soup. Then the bug drinks it all up. That's an assassin bug. Just stay away from that guy. I didn't know that some leaves are insects. Leaf insects look just like the leaves they feed on. They blend in so well against the background that their enemies often can't see them. This is called camouflage. Many insects eat caterpillars, but the hawk mouth caterpillar has a clever disguise to frighten its enemies away. It looks just like a hungry snake. Oh my goodness. It does. That's a mouth hawk caterpillar. Terrifying. Stick bugs change their color as they move from plant to plant. So that's a leaf insect. Interesting. And that's a stick bug. They said they can get as long as cats. Remember that? Camouflage isn't only for defense. This pink flower mantis is cleverly hidden inside an orchid. The better to ambush its prey. So that's a flower mantis. You would have never seen that guy come and look at that. Many insects are green, so they match the leaves they feed on. Now these fly orchids aren't insects at all, but plants that mimic insects. This attracts the male insect to the plant that can pollinate or fertilize them. So these are just plants picking us out now. When thorn bugs land on twigs, they look like nasty thorns. And even if they are caught, they are much too sharp to eat. So these are all thorn bugs. I didn't know that some insects stink. Stink bugs are the skunks of the insect world. When they're frightened, they let out a dreadful smell from tiny holes behind their legs. This gets rid of enemies fast. So that's a stink bug. Better stay away from those guys. A bee sting has a special smell that makes other bees sting too. That's why bees do that. Got it. Gypsy moth caterpillars. Oh, my leg. <laughs> my leg. Gypsy moth caterpillars escape danger by dropping down on a line of silk and wafting away its in the wind. These are gypsy moth caterpillars. The weta is a huge insect with long legs covered in spikes. When it's caught by a bird, the weta kicks all with all its might and is usually dropped in surprise. So this bug is kicking the bird. A bombarder, the martyr beetle, fires at its enemies with a boiling hot stream of chemicals and it really stings. Interesting. The screech beetle surprises its enemies with a loud screech. Ooh, that would scare me too. I didn't know that some bugs glow in the dark. To find a mate, female fireflies make a light in their abdomen and flashes signals to males. They are called glowworms or lightning bugs. Hmm. Cool. A red mite is not an insect. It has eight legs. Oh, can you find the imposter? So that's a red mite. And then we're supposed to search for it in the book. Oh, right there. Right there. Male staghorn beetles fight with each other over a female. And insect feelers aren't just for feeling. They help it to pick up smells in the air and taste and sounds too. So these are the insect feelers, the little antennas. You could read, true or false? You could read by the light of a glowworm. Why would you want to, but okay. True, glowworms were once used as reading lamps. Their glow lasts two hours or more. When an ant finds food, it marks the path to it with a strong smelling scent. Other ants soon follow the scent and turn up to share the feast. 
So that's why all these ants fall in a line because they're following the same smell. The Goliath beetle weighs as much as three mice. I didn't know that. And I didn't know that a stick bug is the biggest insect in the world. The Indonesian giant stick bug measures more than 12 inches. It's a foot. They're 30 centimeters from head to toe. It's so big that it moves very slowly. And that is a stick bug. Male cicadas are the loudest insects in the world. Their clicking noises can be heard by female cicadas half a mile away. That's usually that sound at night, it's crickets and cicadas, especially on a hot day. It's difficult to read fairy flies. They are the size of a pin. Hmm. And that's an example of like a fairy fly and it wants us to find them all. 500 years ago, rat fleas were the most dangerous insects in the world. They spread a deadly sickness called the plague, which killed millions and millions of people. So that's where the, the black plague, that's what that is. When the Queen Alexandria bird wing butterfly spreads its wings, it measures 11 inches from the tip of the wing to the tip of the wing. No wonder it's mistaken for a bird. Fleas can jump an incredible 130 feet. Oh, no. Fleas can jump an incredible 130 times their own height. Oh. And this is our glossary, and they're telling us like examples of the definitions. So a wing case is a hard outer wing that are not used for flying. So like the um, ladybugs, their outside shell. We don't need to go over glossary terms, we talked about them. So thank you for reading this incredible book that I didn't know that about insects. Until next time, maybe we can look for our own insects and identify them. I think that would be a fun idea to do. So, until next time, I'll see you again.